Hey, what's up? Blair here. And another Science is Cool right here on my channel. And of course, this is not only for one channel, but for multiple channels that I have, like uh, Real BTV on YouTube, Real BTV in Facebook. And at the same time, we have also Real B uh, TV on Rumble and of course in Odyssey. So anyway, let's take a look into this uh, another Linux uh, OS that I have in my virtual box right now and of course I will want you to enjoy and of course try to visualize if you can use this type of Linux distro because uh, this uh, Linux distro or distributors are actually making this possible because of course everybody knows that or make it uh, every uh, developers every hackers or make it uh, programmers because hackers are programmers actually uh, not the bad hackers okay so anyways let's take a look into this uh, Linux distro that I have in my virtual box actually I have a lot of Linux distro box uh, Linux uh, in my distro right now we have actually um, the Ubuntu GNOME but it, it, this is already uh, let me change this one because I already changed this one into 22 so this is 22.04 GNOME LTS and of course uh, we also have the Manjaro GNOME and the Linux 21 the cinnamon version we have also the uh, Ubuntu Unity 22.2 uh, MX uh, Linux uh, 21.5 I also have the Endeavor OS the KDE version and of course I have the last one the Storm OS X face uh, version that's I think this is to, uh, 2022 too okay so let's try to take a look into this distro I want to check this one out uh, Let's start with this uh, Linux uh, Storm OS. So let's open that one. As we are trying to boot right now, everything is good. It is running fine, very fine. And it is uh, piling and composing everything. As we all know, this is Linux and wow this is one of the best graphics that I have okay so let me see uh, desktop change background uh, application let's uh, let's try to look into change background because I, I, I wondered uh, what is uh, their their backgrounds right here uh, let me see because this is the first time that I have so I don't know where is it right now but unfortunately I just I just want to explore this one because this is the first time that I opened this one so of course well, let me navigate this uh, okay display probably this is gonna be on the display settings no <laughs> okay no it is not <laughs> so let's go back so try to navigate this desktop yes it is on the desktop backgrounds why I haven't think of that <laughs> so you can choose different types of ooh. uh-huh uh-huh like it kind of dark kind of strong kind of stormy sense of direction awesome 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 very awesome mm-hmm awesome awesome what is yeah I'll just use this one because uh, we are now on the environment of the storm OS Linux so so let me see Let me see, let me see. Okay. 
let's try to arrange this icons do I have some icons arrangement no it is not working how about desktop settings yeah this is just the desktop settings we also of course we also have some d different types of desktops no I don't know it's just only that one but we can change from from one folder to another folder wow that's cool uh, okay that's a menu that's a okay ah here it is the arrangement of the icons if this can be minimal okay there's none how about lunch okay let's let's try to create for like 40 46 50 haha <laughs> Now I was just gonna use the 30, 30 or 40, I was just gonna 40. Uh, oh, we could also move from one to another side. This is cool. This is cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. As I navigate this one, customize size. Let me see. Okay. You can also customize the font size. Oh, nice. So I could customize the size of the icon. So cute. I could also customize the font. Wow, okay, that is so nice. How about the show? Ah, okay, the tips. Okay, I'll just use the third 130. How about the files? Yep, you could. Okay, I was just like playing. Okay, so let me see if what we can do right here. So, all of this, ah, okay, so we have this uh, files right here, so we have the file editor or the the document e editor with the Abbey word, so let's open, it's like, ah, so this is basically a li little bit like a version of the LibreOffice, nice, 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 testing mic test <laughs> nice oh sorry <laughs> did I close it oh my oh my oh my oh my so let me open this one again <laughs> so we also have some appearance right here the appearance of your uh, desktop you have the style do you want to have like different types of contrast you can name it just download you can also download right here so that's the style how about the oh there it is we have some different types of icon settings too oh i'm just gonna leave it there the ad the uh, what's this ad waita ad waita i don't know uh, i maybe i just butchered this <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this icon <laughs> uh, theme <laughs> okay let's close this one so we also have some of this programs right here we also have some uh, uh, editors right here for your editing we of course we have the uh, scan for your documents because of course if you are using uh, uh, Linux, you don't need to have to download or to install the driver because the driver itself is just in Linux already. So if you put a USB on the device, uh, on your device, it will be uh, automatically detected. And of course, I don't have any because this is, uh, this is just my, my, my workspace and of course i don't need mostly the scanner if i need the scanner i just go to the school and just scan some documents 
or I'll just use my phone to scan the documents so it's neat right so but if you have uh, this actually you have the options of single multiple by the feather or multiple by the flatbed or you could uh, use the image or the picture or the text settings and then just click scan right here and then when you get the file just go to the preference and then you can uh, receive it okay you also have the dictionary for your documents you also have the Firefox as kind of out of the box uh, with our Storm OS uh, Linux which is a KDE environment this is based on Arch actually so uh, it is the default uh, web browser the browser for the World Wide Web the Firefox you also have the configuration if you want to set this as a a um, a server so that if there are some malicious intentions you uh, this uh, firewall will just prevent from uh, leaking your uh, files and of course we also have the GIMP the GNU image manipulator program it is now to 2.2 2.2 10 so most of us uh, in the Linux world we use this GIMP and of course not only that but also the photo P for our picture editing we also have the analysis and the calculation or the spreadsheets uh, we have this uh, GNU metrics yeah. and of course we also have the RG parted if you want to to change some settings right here for example let's see if we could we could move this one let's put like uh, let me see let's put 4 gig just for fun <laughs> let's put some uh, extension right here instead let's swap let's add some swap then let's apply success now we have some 4 gig of swap our swap memory disk yeah cool right we just extended our our uh, our memory <laughs> instead of the physical memory that uh, I gave to this virtual memory uh, this virtual uh, machine I also gave another 4 gigabytes of swap dist memory just for the temporary files and of course you also have the HP if you have some if you have some devices that you know the the new modern type of devices of HP you can uh, download this so that you have the indication the status of your HP com uh, HP printers for your ink levels and your performance uh, maintenance so it is cool you have also the H top the showing the the so as you can see I have the swap right here sometimes you just need to install some some of the programs because it's not uh, it's not everybody it's not for everybody to to have this all of this application so it depends on uh, what you are doing with your computer and of course me I'm a little bit techy so uh, I usually uh, tinkers with my computer most of the time and especially right now I'm I'm doing the video <laughs> the panel yeah if you want to what kind of panel are you trying to the 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 panel uh, you can also like this one like vertical or maybe the horizontal the how about the vertical the on the other side now if you want to lock it or not it's just okay Wow, that's cool, right? So, auto hide now. I don't want to auto hide that one. It's annoying. But it depends upon you if you want to have the 
hidden uh, dock the preference that you like so we have also the mouse pa the mouse pad for the simple text editor of course your mouse and and touch touch and the mouse it depends and of course you also have the the cups the web interface for the printers so if you want to in it to print uh, some some files just control P and then the internet will be connected to different types of of drivers in the internet and then you'll have all the <laughs> drivers all over the world they just gonna find the right one for you uh, the personal uh, organizer of course the personal manager uh, the personal uh, manager desktop for you for your schedules uh, if you have some oh it's full moon I didn't know that it's September 11 <laughs> and it is full moon yeah wow that's why we have the lunar eclipse in I think in the Pacific area yeah we have that one I saw the news but unfortunately right here in Thailand we don't because outside is actually cloudy overcast and rainy at times hmm. okay how many minutes okay never mind that's just a thing so you also have the the note uh, ideal for quick notes uh, of course the power management yeah the power management you also have the remove oh, okay your USB connection your screenshot oh, your screenshot your sensor viewer ooh your screen recorder if you want to record your screen we also have the task manager of course the terminal and some of our uh, Thunderbird uh, in make it electronic mail client oh you also have the format and the bootable USB stick yeah you can u use this you also have some of course your v VLC right here your Vim for your editing for your or I mean text editing for your source code the web browser oh we have two we have the web browser and the what kind of web browser ah okay this is Ooh, I like it. They have their own theme of storm. And it is cool. Mm, let me see. Warp. Okay, we also the extern warp uh, for the Unix code environment. Uh. <laughs> if you're geeky, yeah, just use that one. So let me see. Uh, review you have also the separation of the all of your application right here and your uh, your accessories also compiled right here your developments your graphics your internet uh, your uh, multimedia for your music and videos and screen recorders and your uh, audio uh, control your office you also have oh, just the shortcuts the other shortcuts and the settings nice and the system don't forget the system so that's our outlook with our storm OS I hope you enjoy with our video and of course we will be bringing a lot of new stuff right here as we 
we explore different types of of linux distro in science school especially right here in our channel as we explore different types of of os like the endeavor the endeavor os i have it already the of course the storm os right now we also have the linux i have the both uh, mx and the pop so i'm all set right here and of course let me know in the comments if you want to explore more stuff right here in our channel this is player saying bye for now and see you in the next episode of science school as we explore different types of environment the linux environment bye